Hello and welcome to another online tutorial. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to do bank reconciliations. Now, bank reconciliation is one of those fundamental things or very important things that you need to do at the end of each month to make sure that uh, the amount in your bank statement is the same as the amount in the accounting system. Now, in this example, I'm going to show you a very simple reconciliations. It's just two lines so you can get the basic concept of um, reconciliation and how it works in Gimbler. So on the left hand side you can see here we have the bank statement and we have two transactions. Uh, we've deposited $100 into the bank as a loan to the business and we purchased some books uh, for $45. So the end balance is $55. In the accounting software, or in this case, Gimbler, we have $100 because we record that already. So in this example, we're going to try to match them up so they all uh, end in the same balance. So at the moment, we're out by $45 on the 31st of August. Okay, let's go to the accounting software and try to do this. Okay, if you go to finance and go to banking and banks, and then click on the bank. Uh, if you haven't created one, you can create one here. But since this example, I've already created one, I'm going to open it up. Now, if you go to reconciliation tab here, you can see that we don't have anything yet. So I'm just going to quickly enter this uh, transactions into the system and then we'll come back and then we'll do the uh, reconciliation, which is the easy part. Okay, we're back. Uh, so what I've done is I've just import the bank statements. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, there's a user guide for that online as well. So let's go back to the bear reconciliation tab now. You can see that uh, I've imported the bank statements and the balance as of the 31st of, September, of August is $55. And the account balance, which is what is in the accounting software, is $100. So we're out by $45, we've got to get that to zero. So now we'll go back to the My Task tab and let's clear this $100 first. So we know that this transaction is already in the system. So click on More Options and click on this Match tab. You can see it's already entered into the system. So in this case, we just tick them and click Match. And that's gone. What we're going to do next is uh, clear this $45. Now, since this is not in the system, we just create this straight off from the screen. Uh, we can enter the description here saying um, purchase some books. Uh, the account, I think it's stationary. Yep, it's stationary. Uh, I know this book uh, has GST because I'm recording this in Australia at the moment. So it has 10% GST. And then click Create. Okay, now that's all gone. To confirm that you've done it all correctly, go to Reconciliation tab, and you can see here, as of the 31st of August, we have a zero difference. So which means that we've reconciled the bank. And what I usually like to do is just print out the copy of the bank reconciliation, and I'll file this somewhere each month uh, for auditing purpose. Now, if you want to confirm what is in these two uh, lines here, you can go to the Gimbler tab and go to August. Okay. Uh, and then you can see here that this is in the system and it's been matched with what is in the statement. So if I go to statement tab, and again, I'll go back to August. You can see that they've been uh, matched and they're in green. Now, sometimes you've made a mistake, uh, you know, you've matched them and then you put in the wrong code or something like that. To redo that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you go to the Statement tab, 
click one of them, open it up, and then you can see this redo button. Click redo, and then go back to my task, and then you should see it right here to, you know, select your um, account again. So that's it. That's a, a very simple uh, two-line bank reconciliations. Uh, if you do this on a regular basis, you shouldn't have too many lines to clear. Your books will always be up to date. And when it comes to auditing time or tax purpose time, you know, everything is in line and, and um, you are good to go.